Chapter One Shrieking like a thousand wild eagles, the blizzard drove mountainous grey, white-crested waves before it. The powerful ship thundered southward, mast timbers groaning, rigging lines thrumming and sails stretched to bursting point, leaving behind it the lands of ice and snow. A murderer was pursuing a thief. Gulo the savage was hunting down his brother, Askor. Lightning ripped through the racing storm clouds, illuminating Gulo's questing eyes. His fearsome claws, still stained with the blood of his father, dug deep into the bow rail as he peered out across the watery wilderness of peaks and valleys. Only he who had possession of the walking stone could rule the land of snow and ice. The once mighty drums had held it. This miracle which had been brought from the places beyond where the sun sets. He had also been the one who had set down the law. Only the strong would inherit the walking stone. None was stronger than Gulo. To prove this, he had slain his father, but Askol, his brother, had stolen the stone. Then, like a coward, he had taken to the great northern sea to escape the wrath of Gulo the savage. With a hundred vermin warriors at his command, Gulo took up the chase in his big ship, though in reality he needed none to protect him. Strongest of the strong and wildest of the wild, Gulo could face daunting odds and emerge victorious. All his foes had fallen victim to his maniacal rage and awesome strength. He had but one remaining enemy in the world, his own brother. Gulo would not rest until he had sent Askor to Hellgates and had seized the all-important symbol of power, the walking stone. Leaping and rearing like a wild stallion, the vessel plunged onwards. It would journey, untamed, running in sync with the surging currents, away from the land of ice and snow to warmer, more temperate coasts. Down to its fearless navigator's final destination, the very shores on the borders of Mossflower country, where creatures dwelt who knew naught of what lies beyond the cold northern sea, but were soon to witness the sight, the might, and the ferocity of the beast known as Gulor, the Savage.